girl Mariah, aka the Inspirational Sister. Welcome to my channel, and I'm sure you all have seen the title. So I'm going to be discussing how I went from a CNA to a home care um, agency owner. Um, so yeah, stick around. <laughs> tuning in I'm going to share with you all my business experience and my journey I graduated high school I got my CNA about a year later um, I've been a CNA for a very long time um, because this is 2023 and I got certified in 2011 so you guys can do the math there um, a certified nursing assistant is someone who takes care of elderly patients rather than in the home or in the facility. Um, I definitely loved um, what I did. When I first decided that I was going to um, pursue business was when I was working in a home care um, agency myself, I was going around the city, um, different locations, taking care of people in their homes. And one of the workers, or one of, actually one of the people I was working for, her daughter was telling me how much she was paying the company and which usually people don't like you to do that but she what she told me and I was like wow um, I looked at how much I was making and how much the company was making and I was like the company is making bank and I said to myself I am going to be my own CNA I am going to make me a really good profile and I am going to um, build me a really good resume so that people can hire me directly and I can cut the middleman out that was my original intent um, was just to create a, an LLC and to um, directly be hired from the family members so I never had intentions to actually start a home care agency from the beginning so I, I did the LLCs and afterwards, that's whenever I was thinking to myself, okay, well, I found someone to hire me. Now, other people are gonna start calling. I'm gonna have to turn them down. And a friend of mine was like, you might as well just do a home care agency so you can hire people on. And so I was thinking to myself like, hmm, that's a good idea. And honestly, I was thinking that I couldn't do it due to credentials. And um, I did a little bit of research and I just went for it. I, I went to the, uh, the city of Columbia where I was working and I told them what I wanted to do. And the lady said, you can do it. Um, you just need to hire a nurse if you're going to do in-home health. Um, or you can, you can still open the business with your certifications. And just um, whenever you get everything registered, um, you need to figure out the qualifications through the state. And so the, um, the first step that I did was just go ahead and get it open. I knew everything else would fall into place. So I just walked by faith. And so I did that. I, um, I went, I got my business license. I opened up, um, opened up the business. I used my certification, my CNA license to open it up. Because remember, I'm going to be working as well, so you can hire me, and then I will bring people onto the team on board, and then they can also um, go out and work for others. I am going to make another video explaining each step in the process, the process and um, the state requirements, but that is going to be a separate video. Um, and so, yeah, I went ahead, I opened it up, and everything was successful, and... I received my first contract and my very first contract was full-time and if you all know what I mean by full-time I'm talking about like close to 24 hours and so I can't work full-time um, when you have a full-time contract that person needs help um, all the time and so I knew I would have to hire somebody immediately because 
I will have to work some of the hours, but I need someone else to work the additional hours. So I went ahead and hired someone and, um, and we started off there. The contract was a very good amount. Um, they paid me ahead of time for the services and um, and that was the beginning. I walked by faith and um, and I and I brung it I manifested it. I knew that um if I wanted it I, I can get it. And so um, I started my own home care agency um, just by being a CNA worker. And um, so the journey was the journey was really was good, but it was also difficult and so I'm going to share with you all why it was difficult and what obstacles I ran into. The obstacles that I ran into um, was people do not like to work. And so I was hiring people and people were not showing up. And so if people don't show up, then the contracts can be canceled and people will go to other companies. And it's just me. So I'm trying to work all the hours. And um, I have children. I'm a single mother and I have no family support. And it started to be overwhelming. And so I told myself that um, I was missing out on my kids' practices and games and um, their coaches was helping me a lot. However, at that time in my life, that was not a really good time for me. Um, and I definitely told myself, okay, you're gonna have to shut the business down and choose your family over the business. I have a lot of people that tell me that I should have did the opposite. I should have done um, the business and sacrifice um, family, but I have different morals and I believe that you can always pick back up on a business later. I can come back to this at another time. And so that is the reason that I decided that I wanted to um, let go of the business and then um, I think I hit on it, but it was overwhelming. The hours was overwhelming. Um, finding people to work whenever you get um, contracts and people quitting. I had, I think I ran through like three employees within like just a few weeks. You know, I had someone that just didn't show up. And so, I mean, that's something that you're gonna have to deal with no matter what business you start. So um, that is something I believe I could have gotten through, but I, I definitely couldn't do the uh, put in the business over my my family at the time because time is something that you cannot get back and um and maybe if i would have had a support system to help and show up to their games and and support the kids but i was the only support that my kids had so i really think it's a really good reason um, for me to let the business go but i encourage you all um that do not have those same circumstances to um pursue it if you are CNA, go ahead, take off and, and follow your dreams and build that business, build that home care agency because you can defi definitely succeed and, um, and make really good money. I'm excited to share my experience with you all and I hope that it can bless you and, and inspire you.